So I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer of mascara. I should just keep talking like this forever. Yes. My glasses, my glasses. <laughs> Just had a hearty breakfast of rainbow sour strips and now I'm ready to start my day. Welcome back to my channel, it's Yu Ling. If you have been like me and obviously spent the better half of last year and some parts of this staring at your screens, then um, your vision has probably gone. Hello rollers. Glasses make me hotter and smarter. So I figure if I'm gonna be wearing these constantly, I might as well master the craft of wearing makeup around them as well. By the way, these are from Warby Parker. Super affordable. I'm sure everyone has heard of Warby Parker by now. They've got a couple of storefronts in New York City and I think just across the nation. And so these are in the style Haskell in the shade Crystal. And I just like them because they're super simple and I can do any look and it'll still pop out since they're just clear frames. Anyways, I got an updated prescription recently. Now I'm literate again. It's gonna go through a tutorial on how to one, wear bold, colorful eyeshadow, but also on how to make it glasses friendly. So if you're a glasses wearer, we're gonna do a full face. I'm gonna teach you a couple of tricks here and there that I've picked up over the years. And yeah, that's just generally it. So let's just jump right in. <laughs> okay. Did I just get a Slack message? It's literally Sunday. So I have prepped and primed my skin. I have um, a little bit of moisturizer on. I also put on my sunscreen. Today, I'm gonna use um, two different shades of my favorite foundation, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Glasses, I feel like the secret to makeup and not having it pull is to wear a lot less of it and to really focus on where your glasses will hit your face so you can concentrate on almost avoiding areas where your makeup will pull. So I try to keep it lighter around those areas, which is why I go in first with a lighter foundation. Sure. So typically with concealer, I feel like I put it all over my face. It's essentially a second foundation. But what I'm gonna do for glasses in particular is that to see kind of where they'll sit on my face. So you see how it's always gonna hit sort of that bridge of the nose and is always gonna drop down here and here almost towards my cheeks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure to keep the product above that line and do as li like little as possible in the areas where the glasses will sit. That way, if it does pull, because it's sort of inevitable, it's not gonna be too much that it reveals a different color of your skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not gonna be like, oh my God, it just took off an entire layer of blush or anything. It's gonna look like a natural kind of fade, so. Personally speaking, this is also a good way to just gauge if you're bringing too much concealer down anyways, because you really only need it up here. I mean, I like to put it on my entire face, so don't actually listen to me. Do as I say, not as I do. Quickly go into our bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Coco, Moco, what? In Mocha. Now we're gonna grab some blush. This is from Tower 28. This is in the shade Rush Hour. Okay, cute. From Becca that I got, and I'm only just putting a little bit on here because again, we're going to be wearing these glasses so we can't go all the way up the bridge of the nose, which is usually what I would do. And now, powder. I'm taking the Huda Beauty powder. I just got this, actually. They sent this to me in pound cake. <laughs> so I'm to tap this onto areas that I feel need a little bit of setting, but I'm gonna keep the rest of it fairly light. Bring some of my Anastasia Brow Freeze and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, comb this through my eyebrows. Grab some of my Anastasia dip brow. I know Gen Z still makes fun of people who use this, but like, this is a solid product. I don't know what happened, but we're gonna have to just go with it. Really want to make sure that whenever I'm wearing glasses, I still look absolutely incredible, better than anybody else out there. So, what I usually like to do is go for something that's bold, clean, yet graphic. As you can see, the glasses, you really cuts off most of your lid space, like you won't see too much, which is why that pop of color is really gonna help. This is really gonna make the eyes just stand out. And I also think that like all of the colors that I have going on 
blue is gonna be perfect. Using this Urban Decay Chaos Eyeshadow Stick as a base. And this is what I'm gonna use to sketch out the shape. Anytime I have a bold color like this one, I usually opt for a simple shape just like this. It's gonna take over the entire lids, but it's not gonna feel super blown out because it is in a graphic shape. You don't have to do it as dramatic as I have done it. You can make it smaller, but I have tiny lids and I like to be dramatic, so why not? I'm gonna grab this NYX Cosmetics um, eyeshadow in hot blue, and this is almost an exact match, so all I'm going to do is use this and clean it up with the shadow. This is where I'm gonna help kind of define those edges, make sure that it's super clean and pigmented. This is essentially like setting something that's creamy with, you know, like a powder. I'm gonna add a blue mascara because, like, duh. Hmm, okay. So I'm taking this Dragon Beauty lip liner in the shade Balegne CC. Absolutely overlined my lips, so. This is the NYX Shine Loud Lipstick Duo. It has like a gloss on the bottom and then the lip pigment on the other side. And this is the shade Global Citizen. I'll let that dry just a little. I'm just gonna add like a baby beauty mark because you know, I love that. I don't know why that just looks so cute in my opinion. Yes, it's my Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I love the color of this. I don't know why, that's actually the one reason I purchased it. I'm not wearing any pants. And I just thought you should know. A Little bit of highlight, just a little. So this is the finished look. Really, this is just to make sure that the eyeshadow is the star of the show, but that your glasses, again, they're part of the play, you know? Like, we don't want them to be gone. Look even without the glasses because this is a great way to just incorporate color if you're a little bit scared to kind of do, you know, the full-blown kind of eyeshadow look. You don't have to go so high into your crease. You can make this a very small wing with any color that you like. And it's always gonna stand out because you know, big pops of color just go a long way, even if it's in tiny details. People are going to see that, it's going to catch their eye. KT Tun stoles suddenly I see. Like quite literally, suddenly I can see again, you know. People often ask me, what's it like to be the smartest person in the room? <laughs> and I'm people, because I'm only ever in a room with myself, so thank you. And I would have gotten away with it if one of you meddling kids. <laughs> enjoyed this video. I hope you took something away from it. Please tell me down below whether you like my new hair. Thanks. <laughs> I highly recommend you go and get your eyes checked <laughs> because some of you just are seeing things that you want to see and not rooted in reality. Um, go get your eyes checked because <laughs> I care about you. You know, I really want you to be able to see the world in full color. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.